What's up guys? I am out here today with the iDrone. I believe this is the i3. Not 100% sure on the exact model number of this one. Not clearly labeled on the box, but this is a nice looking quad. Comes with a nice little controller. Maybe a little bit small for some of you. Sent to me courtesy of GearBest.com. Really nice starter quad. So why don't we get into the review and check it out. Let's get into the box here. This is a nice looking box. I like the graphics on it. Definitely like the design of this quad too. Really nice looking quad. Has your little LED eyes here and nice camera on the front. And of course it's got the ducted fans. So let's get in here and pretty basic. Once we get inside the box, you're gonna have your manual and it is a decent manual. Didn't have any real problems with it. Also didn't look at it super carefully. So you're greeted by your quad on top, covered by some plastic. And if we take it out, it is a very nice looking quad. I really like the design of this one. Camera right in front here. I did have a few issues with a little bit of vignetting on the upper corners of the camera. So I'm not sure if that's a design fault or something unique to my quad. It does come with a 350 milliamp hour 3.7 volt 25c one cell battery and it is a fairly common size i had a few other batteries that would fit in here and underneath here is going to be your micro sd card slot here if it's un if it's upside down facing you it's going to be on the right here i had a little bit of trouble finding it i was trying to figure out if this is a wi-fi quad or if it recorded an sd card or what when i first got it so mine also did not come with an SD card. I'm not sure if they're supposed to or not, but be aware of that. And then you open up here and here you're gonna have your charging, your charger, I guess I should say. No micro SD card reader in here either, or at least not in mine. So I'm not sure if they just don't come with them, but this is gonna be your charger. It's gonna take about 50 minutes to charge using this charger and it comes with your little screwdriver and a full set of tri-blade props. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to break these props though because you know these ducts protect them very well. And seems to be a solid flyer for me. So why don't we get in the flight review footage and check it out. Okay, so let's get our iDrone in the air here. This one likes it when you plug the quad in first, then you turn your transmitter on, then you give it the up, down, and we're bound there. Real quick on the transmitter, you got your buttons are all clearly labeled here. These are all your trim buttons. And up here you got your video button. That's gonna be the right bumper left side and right bumper right side is gonna be your flips and rolls. And left side bumper left side of it is the speed control. There are three speeds on this, a low, medium, and a high. And then the right side of the left button is a still pictures button and that's basically it uh, this one does have the ability to turn the leds on and off it just has these two eyeball like leds so i don't think you're really saving a whole lot of battery by turning them off and then this is like your headless mode and um return to home and stuff i'm not gonna mess around with that i don't recommend that you do and you can also recalibrate the gyros in this one by going holding this left bumper button down and whoops and both sticks down on the bottom like so i believe or was it out huh i don't see any sort of indication anyway that's what it says in the manual so so you got your slow 
Let's go up in our slow button and actually I'm gonna start my video. So I'm gonna hit this button here. And this is the slowest rate. We've got a little bit of a wind coming from this direction over here. So it's pushing it back that way. And on this low button, you know, I'm giving it full forward pitch here. So it is very docile in this low rate. So this is mostly for indoor use, fairly calm today. So not too much of an issue flying around. Definitely your beginner mode here on the first rate. Your yaw is gonna be pretty slow. I'm not 100% sure if it changes in regards to the speeds. We'll find that out. So that's about it on the low rate here. You know, real, so full forward pitch going that way. You know, it's not too fast in this low rate. This is definitely intended for beginners. The quad overall is intended for beginners. So let's go to the second rate here. And this is gonna give you two beeps on your controller that let you know you're in your second rate. And it's definitely gonna fly around a little bit faster in the second rate here, but not too crazy or anything like that. Let's give it a yaw test here. So the yaw seems to improve a little bit on the second rate, maybe slightly faster. Your pitch is going to increase and your overall speed and maneuverability will increase as well. So let's go to our third rate here. And basically if you're outside, I'm gonna recommend you fly around in this third rate. You get pretty extreme pitch and it also catches a lot of wind that way with those ducted fans and the body style of this one. But it does fly around real nice. This is a really nice beginner quad. Has a really nice camera on it. Surprised at how nice the footage looks on this little camera. You get a little bit of jello wobble depending on how much wind and whatnot is around at any given time. And one thing I didn't mention too is you can tell if you are recording, let me bring it in here close. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on camera, but there are LEDs underneath here and there's a green light when you're not recording and the light will be flashing red. Let me just uh, show you that real quick if you can see it. This right here, this little flashing red button, or I'm sorry, flashing red LED to let you know you're recording. So that's nice that you can tell when you're recording or not. I'm not sure if it's coming across on camera, but I can see it here in person as plain as day. So here we are on our third rate. Let's just try to get some nice smooth footage here. So I'm just gonna fight the wind a little bit, let it kind of go where it wants to. Just kind of hovering around. And let's bring it back in. Let's show you some flips then. A little video demonstration. I haven't done a lot of pictures with this one. I generally don't take a lot of pictures with these. This one does flip in all four directions. And let's give you a roll. Roll the other way, forward roll, and backward. So it flips nice, recovers well. I will say that if you are a little bit low to the ground, it can kind of bottom out, especially towards the end of your battery cycle. This one does have a little bit of weight to it, you know, with these ducted fans. And it does have geared motors, so it has a little bit more power than say your, your direct drive motor. But towards the end of your battery, you're gonna be hurting for power and it will need more height to recover from the flips. But other than that, it does recover from them well. Let's do another one here, back flip. And see, flips real nice. We're getting in a little closer, I'll show you that one more time. And I do get about, manual says about a five minute flight. I've been getting more like four and a half. Wind is pushing it there. So this one will catch quite a bit of wind outside, especially with this body style. Maybe I'll just uh, stop my video here and I'll try to show you some pictures. I don't recommend you ever really use these quads for photography, but you know, you might get a, a nice little aerial photo that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. So I took like three photos there. Also the button doesn't seem to be beeping when I'm taking them. So I'm not 100% sure that took them, but we're recording video now. So as far as the flight characteristics go on this third rate, it's pretty maneuverable and a little acrobatic. And I've flown this on some fairly windy days and it can fight the wind decent, but not great. 
doesn't have a ton of power. This is more geared towards your beginner flyers, people who might just be interested in some aerial video and photography, or just getting into the hobby. It's got the nice ducted props. It's gonna give you a lot of stability and it's also gonna protect your props and your motors because basically you can run into things and it's gonna stay in the air. Missed it that time. Man, I always miss these ducted ones that I'm trying to show that. So yeah, you can kind of run this into things, into yourself and whatnot. I'm gonna stop my video so I have a file to show you guys. And I believe this does record in AVI files. Oop, am I not able to flip here? No, it must be getting towards the end of my battery cycle. Let's uh, see if our LEDs are blinking. They are. You can kind of see them here. It has these like little eye looking things. Not sure if that's showing up on camera or not. But that's going to be your LVC. Didn't really test the LVC warning. I don't like to do that anymore because I don't want to ruin batteries. Because obviously flying these out and draining your battery too much is a good way of ruining your battery. So when you see you got that LVC warning, or if you've noticed you can't flip it anymore, this will also give you this little red LED blinking here as an LVC warning. Eyes are kind of hard to see as far as an LVC warning. This is a little bit easier, but you know when you're flying around and zipping around, it is a little bit difficult to see. So that is one con I have with this little guy. And another issue, not really an issue that I've run into, but something to be aware of is the video button and the flip button are on the same button, basically, just different portions of it. And sometimes I've been intending to flip the quad and I accidentally hit the video, so it either starts or stops the video. So that's an easy way to get confused of whether you're actually recording or not. Um, so not necessarily a con, little little bit something to be aware of and the size of the controller the transmitter here is a little bit small for my liking i have some fairly large hands and you know i haven't had any issues with flying it around but you know I, i'd like a bigger controller but it is nice to have a nice compact size for a small quad small controller very portable that way and intended as a beginner quad here so you're gonna be having children and inexperienced people flying, so probably won't be too much of an issue for some of you guys out there. So there you go, here's my flight of the iDrone here. Like this one, it's a solid beginner quadcopter, has the nice ducts that are gonna protect your motors and your props, and it flies very stable, has a nice camera. Decent flight time, four and a half to five minutes. Not the greatest, but gets get yourself some more batteries fairly common battery size i have a bunch that fit it myself so if you're in the hobby you probably have batteries that will fit this if you're just getting into the hobby probably want to purchase some extra batteries because that's going to enable you to fly more and also good indoor flyer with the ducks on it that'll also help you to fly more hope you guys enjoyed the video with the iDrone here and this was sent to me again courtesy of gearbest.com so i want to say thanks to gearbest for supporting the channel this one is definitely geared toward the beginner out there possibly the slight intermediate flyer but the advanced guys probably going to steer clear of this one pretty docile flyer but if you're looking for a good indoor flyer for whatever reason this one's pretty solid has a nice ducted fans and stable flyer has a nice camera on it too so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give me a thumbs up hit me up in the comments below just say hi if you don't even have any questions or just say you know give me some feedback i'm always looking for feedback for these videos and if you have any questions certainly ask them in the comments and if you haven't already subscribe so until the next video hope you guys enjoyed this one and happy flying try not to crash and burn yeah